everyone! Today we are going to have our English worship, our Bible story a little bit differently. We are going to use a video and a PowerPoint, okay? Before we start, I'm going to ask you to pause this video and read Judges chapter 14, okay? Go ahead and pause this, read it, take your time. You may read it in Korean language and then come back here. I'll be waiting. Okay, did you read it? Okay, great. Please now keep your Bible open, this chapter, Judges 14, and let's review some keywords that you learned last week. Can you please repeat after me? Evil, evil, eyes, eyes, mother, mother, father, father, son, son, dedicated to dedicated God, dedicated to God, to be born, to be born, sacrifice, sacrifice, blessed, blessed, mercy, mercy. Great. We have a new set of keywords. These words you will be hearing them in this Bible star story for today. Please repeat after me. Good. Good. Bad. Bad. Strong. Strong. I want. I want. Lion. Lion. Honey. Honey. Riddle. Riddle. Strength. Strength. And last one. To rely on. To, re to rely on. Great. Before we start listening to our uh, Bible story, we are going to pray. All together, I fold my hands. I fold my hands. I bow my head. I bow my head. I close my eyes. I close my eyes. And pray. And pray. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For this day. For this day. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the Bible. Help us. Help us. Listen well. Listen well. And learn well. And learn well. So that. So that. We can live. That we can live. Our lives. Our lives. Pleasing you. Pleasing you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. For the last few weeks, we have been learning from the book of Judges about Deborah. We also learned about Gideon. And last week, we learned about Samson. Now, there is something we've been hearing a lot. When the people of Israel worshipped God, that was good. God blessed them. But when the people of Israel worshipped idols, that was bad. God did not like it. God punished them. And this time, God allowed them to be defeated by their enemies, by the Philistines. And what happened? The Israelites, they suffered. They were so burdened. So they prayed to God. God sent them a deliverer. And his name was Samson. Samson. That was good. Samson, we learned about him. He was devoted to God. He was a Nazarite. And we also know the Bible tells us he was a strong man. He was very strong. In this chapter, chapter 14 that you read, we learned about Samson that one day he went down to Timnah and there he saw a young Philistine he fell in love with. Uh oh. He came back home and told his parents, I want to marry her. Oh, but his parents thought that's not such a good idea because she is from among the Philistines. She is from the enemy. Samson wouldn't listen. He set up his mind. He wanted to marry her. So what did Samson do? He went together with his parents to Timnah to make arrangement for his wedding. And on his way, a 
fierce roaring lion came across him. And the lion, uh, it says here in, in verse 6, verse 5, attacked. And in verse 6 says, The Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon him about Samson, so that he tore the lion apart with his bare hands, as he might have torn a young goat. Oh, Samson was so strong. He then continued his journey. On his way back, he was curious, I suppose. He wanted to check on that lion he killed on his way to Timna. And what did he find? In the, the lion's body, he found a, um, a swarm of bees and honey. There was honey inside it. And Samson scooped it out with his hands and ate. But that was not good. Samson was not supposed to touch anything dead. Remember, he was dedicated to God. This was one of the requirements. One of the, the things that he needed to respect was not to touch anything dead. He took some honey and gave it to his parents. He did not tell them where the honey came from. Now, a little bit later, uh, there is Samson at the feast. They were holding a big feast. He was marrying the woman he saw among the Philistines. And during the feast, he told um, the men around him, Let me tell you a riddle, Samson said to them. If you can give me the answer within the seven days of the feast, I will give you 30 linen garments and 30 sets of clothes. If you can't tell me the answer, you must give me 30 linen garments and 30 sets of clothes. How many garments was Samson, Samson dreaming to get? 30. 30! That's right, 30! Now, here's the riddle. He said, Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. And for three days, the man could not give an answer. But on the fourth day, they said to Samson's wife, Tell us the answer, or we will burn you and your father's household to death. Oh, Samson's wife, she cried and she cried in front of Samson, begging him to, to give her the answer. She cried for seven days until Samson got tired and he gave her the answer. His wife quickly ran to the men and, and told them the answer. And the answer was, do you know the answer to the riddle? Yes. Oh, what is sweeter than honey and what is stronger than a lion? The answer was a lion and, and honey. honey. That's right. Samson was furious. He now has to give them 30 uh, pieces of garments, 30 clothes, set of clothes. Where will he get that many sets of clothes to give them? He went to Ashkelon, the Bible says, another town belonging to the Philistines. And there he struck down 30 of their men. He stripped them of everything and gave their clothes to those who explained the riddle. Now, Samson did many other things uh, during his lifetime, many brave things. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, more about him next week. But as usual, we are going to learn something today, right? Can you say it? Let's learn. learn! Let's learn. There are lessons we can get also from this uh, Bible story, story we, got, we, learned, we heard today. And there it is, lesson number one. What do we know about Samson? He was 
a strong, strong man. He was strong. Boys and girls, do you think you are strong? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are. Some of you are strong in math. Some of you are strong in English. You have all kinds of strengths and abilities. I know that. Some of you are good in music. Some of you are just very, very good friends. Some of you are good in speaking and presenting at school and telling stories. That's your strength. That's your ability. Now, you know, we learn our first lesson that our strength comes from the Lord. Can you say that together with me? Our, our strength, strength comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. Lord. That's right. That's where your strength comes from the Lord. Lesson number two. We learned about Samson and sometimes he did good. good. But sometimes he did bad. bad. You know, I think Samson did bad sometimes because maybe he thought of himself invincible. He thought nobody can defeat him. Maybe he thought his strength is enough. Maybe he relied on his strength more than he relied on God. He forgot it was who? Who gave God. Samson his strength? God! He forgot it was God. God who gave him his strength. So Sam Samson, he thought he's strong. But let's learn, let's learn from this story that we have to rely on the Lord and not on our own strength because our strength comes from the Lord, right? Right? Can you say this lesson together with me? Ready, go. We, we rely, rely on, on the, the Lord, Lord not, not on our, our strength. Own, strength. own strength. That's right. There's a Bible verse that tells us in 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Let's take heed. Let's be aware. Let's be alert. Let's um, think about uh, where our strength comes from and rely on the Lord. Okay? There's one more lesson we have to learn. Now, we said... Samson sometimes did bad. bad. But you know, even when he did bad, the enemy was defeated. defeated. And that is good. We learned that when Samson did bad, God did good. So, let's say this lesson all together. God... God can use, can use bad situations, bad situations for the good. For the good. Even when we do bad, Even God do will bad. still do good. Okay? There's this Bible verse that gives us um, hope and courage today. And it's found in Psalm 29, 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. Can you say it, this one also together with me? Ready, begin. Psalms 29, 11. The Lord, the Lord gives, strength gives strength to his people. To his people. One more time the Bible verse. Say this together with me. Psalm, Psalms 29, 29, verse 11. Verse 11. The Lord, the Lord gives strength, gives strength to his, to his people. People. Okay, very good. Let's pray now as we end our uh, Bible story. Say this prayer together with Ina. Ready? Go. Thank you for the words you give. They help me learn how I should live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dear, dear boys and girls, I hope uh, you 
are learning together with us and we can't wait for the time to meet you again in the church. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.